Hello, Reagan here, and welcome to my channel, Disruptive Girl. Uh, I probably should rename this channel, but I haven't yet, so yeah, <laughs> we're just going to go with that. Um, I vlog, I travel, I assemble minis. There you have it. That's what I do. And uh, if you enjoy any of those things or all those things, please like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, leave me a comment if you, you know like it don't like it what you do and don't like yeah give me some give me some feedback let me know let me know what you think anyway i am working on the oh what is this thing it's a rose garden uh, tea house and this is a kit that i purchased from amazon i'll have a link in the description down below telling you like where i got it what it is and how much it is and all that fun stuff and um it's <laughs> this is a second kit in two weeks i'm doing like a kit a week uh, just trying to get myself back into uh, crafting because I've been doing a lot of traveling and stuff and been away from the house a lot and had a lot going on and this has been a very uh, hectic year for me so I'm trying to step that back a little and get back to doing the things that I enjoy even though <laughs> uh, I have a move looming in the not so distant future, I am not excited about, oh, I don't even know what's going to, how it's going to all happen, but it's okay. We're getting there. Uh, if you watched my last video, which was just a quick vlog video, I was uh, talking about um, Scott and our trip to the oncologist. Uh, we're waiting to see what his results are from his PET scan that he had done. And, uh, I mean, that kind of affects like which way we go moving forward with things. So all that uh, waiting for the other shoe to drop stuff really kind of is a bummer, but it's life anyway. But so my way to my way to cope with and deal with uh, all of that is to just stay as busy as I possibly can. And it was really funny because I bought these kits and I was like, oh, OK, well, this will give me something to do like my little, uh, you know, <laughs> time suck at the end of the day when I'm done with everything else. I'll spend a couple hours working on these and then, you know, just to, to kind of relax and, and do the things. I find it very relaxing and uh, therapeutic to work on miniatures. And uh, I figured this was also a good thing to kind of get me back into the swing of things because there's so many things I want to do. I've mentioned in the past before about... Um, building some historical sites in miniature uh just like the vulture mine there's a lot of buildings and stuff there i'd like to do in miniature and um a lot of the locations i've been to in the past that i would also like to do the same thing um yeah so just in parts of my life <laughs> that took place in historical areas places i lived and places i visited and yeah so but I had kind of got out of it and away from that so much that I was very frustrated with myself in trying to find my way back to something that I'm very passionate about. And these kits have been uh, just wonderful in getting me back into the swing of wanting to get back to what I really truly enjoy doing. And the other thing that I'm trying to get myself back into that I'm not quite there yet is, uh, you know, a lot of the photography and videography. Now I did go out and shoot quite a bit of uh, landscape photography while I was out traveling about and uh, did some, some street photography when I was in Seattle, which was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> a lot of that stuff is still sitting on my hard drive unedited because <laughs> I haven't had a chance. To go through it but uh eventually that'll happen yeah we'll get there uh not enough hours in the day and such and uh my focus is all over the place but that's just just how it is and i'm not going to beat myself up too badly for not getting all the things done all the time i'm kind of learning how to not spend all of my time 100 percent busy uh, it is nice to have things to do to keep my mind from wandering off in places it shouldn't be. Uh, but also being able to just stop, clear my head, and be able to spend even five minutes 
not feeling like I should be doing something <laughs> uh, is something that I'm, I'm just now really learning how to do. Um, so I, I will n not ever be able to be completely honest with myself on how much time I've actually spent sitting around doing nothing, focusing on all the things I should be doing and why am I not doing them? And that's very self-destructive. So I have learned to take my, my time, you know, it's like, Hey, you're not doing anything productive. Hey, that that's kind of okay. You know, you don't have to be productive 99% of the time. Sometimes you can just stop and take a breath and, uh, you know, clear your head a minute. That's, that's okay. And it doesn't have to be, you know, in the form of meditation. It doesn't have to be in the form of anything. It can just be just sitting quietly and enjoying being alive. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, and uh, with life throwing me along <laughs> so quickly right now, I need everything, every, every chance I get to kind of slow down, I need to absorb that. And uh, it's really funny because I, I sped all this footage up and uh, have it, you know, as a time lapse, but this was several, several hours of just cutting and gluing and building and and uh, enjoying it. It was a lot of fun. And I really liked the outcome when I was all done. It was amazing. Uh, the problem solving and stuff, uh, it's the part I miss, you know. Uh, <laughs> gluing something and realizing, oh, that's the wrong glue. Okay, well, let's try again. Let's try a different glue. Oh, yeah, that one worked perfectly. You know, or whoops, I've now glued my hand to the thing that I was trying to glue, <laughs> you know. Um, easy, real problems that are easily solved quickly <laughs> you know I, I enjoy that it's it's, it's nice um, so there was uh, just so much to this game it was so cool it really was it was absolutely adorable to to build um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be working on next it'll definitely be a miniature um that's been something I've been I've been kind of pondering on, trying to decide exactly what I want to do. Uh, I might go for a little change of pace, uh, as I mentioned in the vlog that I posted earlier today. Uh, I kind of want to do some like you know more grungy stuff. <laughs> you know, um, I might go back and and put together. I, I just found, oh I was digging through things and I found the plans. I still have the plans for uh, Wickenburg's cabin. Now, in the grand scheme of things, at the Vulture Mine, that's one of the smallest buildings there. <laughs> so, it's kind of a cheat <laughs> to build that, because it's like literally one of the smallest buildings there. But, it's where I wanted to start, because Wickenburg is, well, where it all started. Like, he's he's the one that founded, you know, that started at mine, and um, got that whole operation underway. So, I think it's only fair to start with his cabin, because it would have been, you know, the beginning of things there. It's his little cabin. And then go from there and build all the rest of the buildings. Maybe take a couple more trips down there to get some more uh, photos and things uh, of everything. So that I can properly recreate that. And uh, yeah, it was really cool because it started off like that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I found out about the vulture mine and all that stuff. Years ago when I was a kid, kind of forgot about it, whatever. And I don't know what my draw is that place. Kind of weird, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I was doing uh, research for the Lost Dutchman. And when I was doing the research for that, which is Apache Junction, it's on the other side of um, Phoenix. Uh, a lot of the information, like you start running into, you know, there's a lot of parallels. And so a lot of the people that were involved in mining operations and stuff in that area also... Uh, were in the the Wickenburg area and stuff, you know, so it all kind of ties in together and so that, you know, Arizona, you know, Southwest fun, <laughs> the Old West and everything being all insane. And, um, yeah, so it all kind of tied together and I kept, you know, running into a lot of Vulture Mine stuff along the way. So I ended up falling down that rabbit, rabbit hole, you know, and it was really, really interesting. There's a lot of, a lot of really really fascinating history there. It's a very rich 
area. A lot of turmoil, a lot of craziness, a lot of cool stuff. And uh, going to the Voltron, going there and going, doing the tour and everything. Uh, finally, after all these years and wanting to get a chance to take a look at all of that and seeing where they've rebuilt a lot of the outbuildings and done a lot of work to restore, you know, a lot of the the stuff there and kind of give it give it back that that feeling you know that it would have had when it was um a running mine in town is uh absolutely amazing and it was really cool and i really 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 think it would be really fun to rebuild that <laughs> that whole area the whole little town the whole vulture mine encampment there in miniature and I think it would be really something fun to get into so I think I'm, I think that's it honestly I think I think that's kind of gonna be it the vulture mine uh starting with Wickenburg's cabin and uh going from there because yeah uh, even thinking about the place it's just it sparks joy <laughs> there's not a whole lot of things that spark joy in my life sometimes <laughs> but that's definitely something that sparks joy and I had a really great trip down there and I really enjoyed uh everything about it so yeah uh, originally though I was looking at a much smaller scale I was looking at like a like a I don't know like a centimeter to a five I forget what scale it is whatever anyway but I think I'm gonna go with like a 112 scale which is like an inch as a foot it's a little bigger than I had originally intended just so that I can include more of the detail there's some really cool stuff lots of stuff and uh, I think that would be a better size option as a 112th or 124. Probably 112th. I think that would be good. So we'll go with that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. Uh, I'll have the rest of this build coming up in another video for you in the next couple days. And uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Because it's holiday season. Woohoo! <laughs> How did Christmas get here so quickly? <laughs>